topic that I do talk when we do have representatives from the company is that we do see a clear communication between the residents being affected and what's happening. Because there's so much information and it's lots of information coming in and out and things that are true in the past and things that are not. Right. So who do we trust right now? We're really not sure. That's the first step. Secondly is you're going to do an enforcement action right now, a year from now, and then seven years later, we're still in the same issue. So you're going to do another enforcement action. Why can't be there um, a plan to say, this is how you're going to reduce emissions over time, over the next five years? We want to see this plan. We want to see those numbers go down, uh, go down over the years. And if they're not, then shut down the factory. That's right. I, I, we want to see them go down because if we keep doing enforcement actions, we're in the same, the same kind of loop. Yes, in, in, in the meantime, in those five years, seven years, I would hope because Salina students are the most affected students in, 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 the, in the area. I would hope after school when they leave that right now the park is not safe for them to play in summer with all the chemicals going on. I would